uh, sing some new music, but also sing some of the songs that maybe were a particular blessing throughout the year. And uh, we always look forward to this time in the middle of the summer to be able to sing and praise the Lord. I want to encourage you to, if you have a bulletin, uh, the, uh, the order of songs are in here. But throughout the, throughout the next uh, 45 to 50 minutes or so, we'll have a number of songs and a number of scriptures that accompany the songs. And so uh, we'll have different people narrating verses and such, but I know it'll be a blessing to you. We're glad that you're here, and we're looking forward to a great time of scripture and song. I want to read to you Psalm 100, verse 4 and 5, and then we'll begin with a word of prayer, and then we'll have our first, uh, first choir number. But I want to read to you Psalm 100, verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to all generation. That's one of the things that we desire to do this morning, is to enter His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. And we trust that the Lord will be honored by all that's said and done here this morning. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear God, we do love You. We thank You again for the privilege to meet together. We're thankful for the faithful attendance of Your people. We're also thankful for the many guests we have here this morning. Lord, we pray that over the next um, hour or so, Lord, that every song that is sung and every scripture that is read will encourage us that will, and will also draw our hearts closer to you. We pray that, that Christ will be magnified in all. We pray that a big deal will be made about you. Lord, I pray that every Christian here today will be encouraged and strengthened in their faith. If there's someone here this morning who does not know the Lord Jesus Christ, as their personal Savior, we pray that today would be the day where they will trust Him and Him alone. Father, do a great work in this service now. We pray that everything that's done will bring you much glory. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 66, 1-4. through four. Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of His name. Make His praise glorious. Say unto God, How terrible art thou in thy works! Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee, and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name. Selah.
Jude, verse 20 through 22. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking to the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some, have compassion, making a difference. Thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. 
Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I sing the mighty power of God that makes the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and fill the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that fills the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his word, and then pronounced them good. Lord, how thy wonders are displayed, where'er I turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread, or gaze upon the sky, there's not a plant or flower below, but makes thy glories known. Or clouds arise and tempests blow, by order from thy throne. While all that borrows life from thee is ever in thy care, and everywhere that men can be, thou God.
praise to Thee, more love to Thee, more love to Thee, my Jesus, I love Thee, I know Thou art mine.
and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world.
number six. But to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in him. And, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him.
4, 14 through 16. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that has passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly under the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy, and find grace to help in time of need. He is 
Mighty voice.